Hi everyone, welcome to the regression analysis lecture. Uh, this is one of the subjects uh, in the uh, Statistical Science Study Program, uh, Department of Mathematics, University of Indonesia. So, what are we going to learn for this session? Um, there is about model building. Basically, model building is that how to put in a proper functional form of the explanatory variables that is x represented by x in here into your regression equa equation okay just to recall the form of the model it can take like um, can be written in the form of vector matrix like this where y is the uh, factor of explan uh, sorry response variables let's say we have a sample size n so here we have y for the first observation for the second observation all the way to y2 for the end of patient and then we have a matrix of explanatory variables where the first column is just a factor of ones that is because this column is associated with the beta naught that is for the uh, intercept term in our model and then here we have a factor of the regression parameters beta naught for the intercept and beta 1 all the way to beta p um, that representing the contribution for each one to xp in our model and then we have a factor of errors okay something that cannot be explained by the explanatory variables in the in this model Okay, another way to represent the model is that you can just write it like this when you are referring to each of the observation, i for i from 1 to n, or you can just, if you don't want to bother yourself with the random error, so you can just write the deterministic uh, form that is the expected of y given by just the uh, linear combination of x and beta here. Okay. So, the problem is that, okay, we know that this is the template or like the standard form of the multiple regression model, but what function, what expression that really is suitable to be put in the model, um, is it really x1 or we need to do something to the x1? Do we need to do transformation? Do we need to do kind of like consider other thumbs to be put in here? Uh, that's what we will be considering now. Okay, so um, here for the X, there are many types, several, uh, what is it? Um, various types of X, so it can be quantitative variable that is kind of like numerical, something that you can do mathematical operation on it. There's qualitative variables or categorical variables. And then later we will consider what if this model the x here consists of a mixture of quantitative and qualitative variable and also what if uh, uh, we need to put in higher order terms in this model because again if you look at here it seems like all just plain x or in order one but then actually later we will see that x here is just a symbol you can just put anything that uh, any kind of mathematical function in here okay one of them is the higher order thumbs okay so what we will be considering is that okay for the quantitative variables then we will see one predictor uh, what if there is one predictor variable uh, so usually we have simple regression there but then for this kind of uh, what is it simple regression so the symbol x in here what do we really need to put in there is it just really that data x as it is or do we really need to do some kind of transformation for example maybe you need to put the inverse of x instead of just the measurement itself or probably this x here can be replaced by instead of putting the x itself maybe what is more suitable is the logarithm of x or probably the square root of it or probably the polynomial form okay when do we need to change or to do transformation for this kind of variable we will see it later in us uh, what is it special section on uh, quantitative variables 
Okay. The issues with more than uh, with two predictors or more is that okay we have uh, like a multiple uh, linear regression and then it can be symbolized by this or we can just go all the way to blah 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 to beta pxp in here and then again the issue is that is it do we really need just the first order model or do we need to put an interaction in that model or second or higher order model so i mean that um rh S here means that just the right hand side of this equation and then what term that should be properly put in this right hand side okay so later on we will also consider uh, what kind of a functional form to be put actually on the right hand side of this equation but in the case of quantitative variables and also we have qualitative variables or categorical variables okay and then we will just do step by step starting with just one predictor variable and then we move on to two or more predictor variables okay so for one predictor variable again we just have this kind of template of the model but then we will see what really exactly the form of the model when uh, it consists of, you know, this X here are the categorical variable with two levels. What about with three or uh, more levels? And what if, what is the baseline? And um, do we really need to stick on just the baseline or can we change the baseline? And then if we can change the baseline, what is the consequence or how do we do it? Okay, we will discuss it later in special section on qualitative variable with one predictor. Okay, for two predictors, actually, yeah, the same, similar with the one predictor, but now we also need to consider first order model, interaction or second order model in here as well in predictor later we will see is it really uh, a matter if we talk about higher order model we will see it also again later okay and then um, we also will discuss about the what is it the mixture of quantitative and qualitative predictor variables so again still the template of the model is just something like this beta naught beta 1 x1 plus all the way to beta pxp where some of the axes here are qualitative some of them are quantitative okay so then uh, the issues that we will be addressing here is that Okay, if the model is just the first order model, how do I write it? If it consists of some interactions, how do I put it in, in the model? And then when do I need to consider the second order model? And how do I put the second order model? In the case that a mixture of quantitative and qualitative predictor variables. And also, what about the higher order model? Do we really need to put it in our model? If so, how do we do that? If not, then why? And what is kind of like the optimal solution for that model? Okay, so um, that's basically the topics that we will be considering in the uh, model building. And then we will uh, explain in more detail about each of the steps that we have here in different sections along with the uh, interpretation using R. Okay, so... That's uh, for um, this um, session. Thank you.